Out to center. This is cranked. It's way back. It is gone! Welcome back to the Couch GM Podcast. Today I have on Troy Bell, who is the founder and CEO of Black Label Supplements. Black Label Supplements is a proud sponsor of the Couch GM Podcast, and I'm excited that we were able to partner with Black Label at such an early point in their story. They're doing something very unique in the supplement space, specifically focusing on athletes and college athletes with their supplements. They're a third-party tested, athlete-approved supplement company. I definitely approve as well, and make sure to visit blacklabelsupplements.com, use code COUCHGM, for 15% off your order. And as a reminder, I am a full-time mortgage advisor during the day. Every sports fan needs to find a living room to call their own to watch their favorite team on their big screen. So if you or someone you know is thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing, make sure to reach out to myself, the Couch GM, to hit a home run with your mortgage financing needs. And with that, let's get in the podcast. All right, today we got Troy Bell, the founder, owner, CEO of Black Label Supplements. First off, thank you for taking the time to be on the podcast. I know we've talked off air a bit. But excited to you know get to know you, your story, the story of Black Label Supplements a bit more. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I love what Couch GM is doing, and you you and your team are super talented. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. Yeah, I appreciate that. Shout out to uh, Will Ortner. He was the original contact who connected us. Um, yeah, initially when I started looking at the company, it was very different because um, with what you guys are doing with NIL, and we'll get into it down the road. Uh, or later in this podcast, but what you're doing is definitely different than what the other supplement companies have done in the industry. So I'm excited to learn more about that, but let's start back with yourself, Troy, yeah. you know, kind of walk me through your, your background, your story of who you are, how you got to where you are and how did you get into sports initially? Yeah. So I grew up in a family of seven children in Pocatello, Idaho, all my uh, older siblings, I had three older brothers that were very active in sports, um, great wrestlers, just great overall student athletes, sisters as well. And so I, you know, I fell in love watching my older siblings participate in sports. My dad played racquetball professionally, um, just a sports-based family. So I grew up loving sports. I played basketball, football, wrestled as a young, young buck. And then in high school, I had to choose between um, wrestling and basketball and I chose basketball, but, uh, just, you know, back in the day when you could be three sport athletes, that's what I was. Um, my claim to fame is my senior year in 95, I was a Gatorade player of the year in football in the state of Idaho as a running back, um, signed a scholarship with Idaho state university, played college football there and, uh, just loved every minute of it. Awesome. So you, you get into college, you play college football, um, you know, what did you major in? What did yeah. you end up? What were your next steps after college? So really excited to stay at Idaho State. My brother played at Idaho State. So I got to play with my older brother for a couple years, actually one year. Um, got my undergraduate in healthcare administration. Um, that's mainly my day job. Uh, Black Label started out as a hobby and now it's turned into a full-time thing. Um, got an undergraduate in healthcare administration, a minor in Russian and in business. And then I got my MBA and, uh, have just kind of been an entrepreneur since then. Yeah. So yeah. Walk me through your, your entrepreneurship journey and, and kind of how you got into black label supplements was yeah. supplements, something that you had thought of you, you wanted to be in, or did you stumble into it? How did that come about? Yeah. Well, I've always been interested in supplements just because when I started playing college football, creatine was introduced to me. And it was the new and upcoming thing. We didn't know very much about it. We thought it might be dangerous. We thought it caused cramping and muscle tears. And so I always uh, loved dabbling in supplements. Um, I graduated from college. I started working with a company in healthcare. We managed skilled nursing facilities and assisted livings. Worked for them for four years. In 2004, went out and started my own company and managed two facilities, um, nursing homes, one in Santa Barbara, California, and one in Portland, Oregon. So I commuted a lot. And then in 2009, I started building my own facilities. Um, and uh, my first business as an entrepreneur was nursing homes, assisted livings. Um, we've since got into the outpatient therapy clinics, which are sports-based and related for rehab. And then also own a home health and hospice group. But we built a new corporate office in uh, 2016 in Pocatello, 
And I love CrossFit. I'm a competitive CrossFitter. And so we had some extra land. I built a CrossFit box and gym next door to my corporate office so that our employees could um, benefit. We have a wellness program where we allow our employees to access the CrossFit gym. It's called Kulak CrossFit. And it's our Tanabelle Wellness Center. Tanabelle is my healthcare company. And we opened that up for our employees and basically the community took it over. And uh, we had so many people interested that they kind of took it over. We basically subsidized it through um, community members so that our employees can come there for free. But as we trained athletes, I'm a USA Olympic certified uh, in coaching. And then my wife and I are both uh, level one and level two CrossFit coaches. So we coached a lot. And as we coach nutrition and coach CrossFit, a lot of our customers came to us and said, hey, I'm taking this, what do you think of it? So I'd read the labels and I'd be like, oh, you know, garbage. Stay away from proprietary blends, stay away from this. And a lot of the athletes were college athletes and or professional CrossFitters. And so making sure that supplements weren't tainted and, and were safe uh, was very important. So me and a couple of my coaches, some of my young coaches, um, said, hey, let's start a supplement company. I said, sure, I'll fund it. Let's do it. You guys run it. I, I got my day job in healthcare and we started it. Um, however, uh, COVID happened and things that happened, you know, and it kind of slowed down because we couldn't get product and things like that. We created one, one item, our pre-hustle, and our members loved it. Uh, what we wanted to accomplish was an all-in-one pre-workout that didn't have too much caffeine. It was performance-based. It would save our clients money so you didn't have to stack and then also tasted good. So we created this product. We started selling out of our gym and people loved it. And ever since then, we've just been growing and adding products and gone from there. I went from a hobby to a full blown thing now. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's cool that it's all like local. You grew up in Pocatello. You went to college there. And now I see that Black Label Supplements has, you know, you sponsor Idaho State University and their, their athletic programs. How, what's the process? I've always been curious. What's the process of creating a supplement? Like, where do you even start? I know that you were doing the funding part of it, but I'm sure you saw a lot of the behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, I was really interested just funding it and helping create products. And since that time, those, those young guys have moved on and I've taken, taken full ownership and, and run it myself, um, just because they've moved on to different careers during COVID and things. Um, it's, it's very difficult to create a supplement that is actually beneficial and clean. Um, we use um, providers or manufacturers that allow us to do third-party testing. Um, some of our items are Informed Sports certified. We are moving to NSF certification and sports certification for all of our products. So the process is long and laborious. Um, you basically have to create a product. You have to send it to a manufacturer. We don't manufacture our own stuff. It's just too technical. And in order to have it certified, you got to do it in a, in a true pharmaceutical laboratory. And so you send the formula, they come back and tell you what they think. Um, we clinically dose it based upon data and research that we do. And, and then we also try to create the product based upon what the outcomes we want. So if it's a, you know, if it's for performance, what are we going to create? If it's for recovery, how are we going to create that? How are we going to dose it? And you go back and forth with the manufacturer for months. By the time you um, iron out the flavor, the taste, and the product and get it to manufacturing, it takes another 12 weeks after that. So it's a very difficult process if you want good, clean, third-party tested and certified supplements. Um, anyone can go and contact the manufacturer and create something. But if you want good, clean supplements, it's a process. Yeah, there's just so so much that goes into it, picking the flavors and making sure that it tastes good. And, you know, I've tried all your products now and they all taste great. I've seen the benefits. Let's get into, uh, I guess, let's just get into creatine. Can you walk us through yeah. the scientific, what is creatine, what it does? There's, you know, when I was, I was back in high school, there was the articles of kids that were hospitalized because of creatine, because they weren't drinking water, but they were taking creatine. So can you explain the science behind that? Yeah. Well, with anything um, that you take orally, you have to make sure that you hydrate and you take care of yourself. Um, creatine is one of the most studied, most researched supplements um, that's out there. And we're finding that the benefits of creatine go far beyond performance, recovery, muscle growth, and strength. Um, we're finding that creatine also has huge benefits with cognition, 
concussion repair. Uh, a lot of young athletes, after they suffer a concussion, um, get on creatine and it helps repair their brain. Um, the science be behind creatine is that you know, when you're exercising and depleting your muscles of ATP, creatine replaces that ATP, which allows your muscles to recover, um, produce strength, and it brings water and hydration to those muscles. So that's why sometimes people say, oh man, it's making me retain water. The new stuff back in the olden days, uh, it, it did, but the micronized creatine monohydrate today, um, very few people see um, weight gain or water retention. Um, one of the myths was that creatine can hurt your kidneys and it's not good for your kidneys. Uh, they're finding that that's not true. Creatine is very, very safe. Obviously, you don't want to ever overdose. Five grams of, of creatine a day is what you want, and you want to keep it in your system continually. So even on your off days, you want to have that in your system. But, I mean, creatine is one of the best products out there. Um, I swear by it. When I don't take creatine or don't keep it in my daily cycle, I can tell a difference in my performance, my recovery, and how I feel. Um, it's just one of the best things out there, and it's proven. And is it true that, uh, like once you're saturated, you know, it's like, you, if you take 20 grams of creatine, it's not going to do any, any other benefit than you taking five and your body has a natural saturation point. Is that, that is true. How it typically yeah. works. Yeah. Five grams a day is, is a clinical dose. You don't really need any more than that. Creatine HCL, um, which is a different form of creatine. You don't need five grams. Uh, three is sufficient. Um, uh, just because it's a different type of creatine, but yeah, I mean, you don't want to overdose on creatine. It, it doesn't do anything. You'll just pee it out. Right. Yeah. So walk me through initial stages of the company. So what year did you guys start that? I know you went, it sounds like it was pretty recent, like right before COVID. Yep. And then, you know, how many products did you start out with? Now you have quite a bit of products. Yeah. So we started out with one product, our pre-hustle, our all-in-one, just because that's what we wanted to produce and people fell in love with it. Uh, we started creating protein about 2018 um, and things started taking off. We started offering it online and different things like that. COVID happened obviously in 2020, 2021. And so we kind of shut down things a little bit because we couldn't get containers, we couldn't get um, product. And so we just kind of sold what we had, didn't spend a lot of money advertising. And then in 2021 is really when um, I took over completely and we really have been pushing it and marketing it. And we've seen, uh, you know, a, a huge response. Um, we've started seeking out athletes and sponsoring professional and collegiate athletes and recreational athletes. And since that time, we now have over 21 SKUs. We're continually creating products. Uh, we're getting ready to sign a deal with a new manufacturer, which is one of the largest in the country, which we're really excited about, which is gonna allow us to have um, better flavoring and produce products quicker, faster, and in larger quantities. And so it's really, really grown from there. And we hope to continue to add new flavors, um, you know, quarterly on each of our products, but we want to continue to add more SKUs and more products each and every year. Yeah. Awesome. And so Will initially got connected to the company because of the NIL stuff and with the recent changes in the college atmosphere with how things are done, you know, obviously a lot has changed. So how did you kind of utilize that to your benefit? And can you walk us through that, that athlete partnership program that you have? Absolutely. So, um, obviously I'm alum of Idaho state university. Um, my wife ran track there so, as well. We're both D1 athletes there. Um, I have a son that plays football there, collegiate athlete, and a daughter that plays soccer there. And I'm on the ISU Foundation board, so it just made sense to go to ISU to test this out. I had this idea where we wanted to create a nutrition station um, for Idaho State and provide them with all the supplementation that they need for other student athletes. So we did it. Um, we created it. Uh, the thing that's unique about it, we're, we are the only supplement company that I'm aware of nationwide that's providing um, the amount of supplements for all sports across the board, male and female, every student athlete. ISU has over, I think now they have close to 300 student athletes and we provide their supplementation for all of them. And in that as well, I decided to test the waters and be one of the first comp companies that offered every student athlete at a university NIL deal. And so we've done that. Um, not every athlete participated just because some of them didn't want to worry about it, but 
a majority of them did. And it's turned out to be really, really great because they see the results they're getting from our products and they share it with friends and family. And then um, we give them, you know, free products. We also give them discounts, significant discounts if they're NAL athletes on gear and different things like that. Uh, we give them free stuff all the time. And then they have opportunities to not only be paid, but also um, receive commissions on any referrals they give us. So it's been a win-win. We've had a lot of universities reach out to us since. Um, I'm in talks with some other bigger universities, um, but we're just happy to set the precedence, especially for the big sky, because we want the Bengals to win. Um, <laughs> and nutrition is a huge part of that. But we want to take this program to every university in the country. Um, that's one of the reasons we're getting NSF certified right now is we want to be in every nutrition station at the collegiate level. Um, a lot of our competitors go for bodybuilders, weightlifters. Then you have the more clinical brands like Momentus and Legion, which are great brands. We, we love things about them, but we want to be more directed towards um, collegiate athletes, professional athletes, and have a little bit of an edge. And so that's our goal is to be in every university. And also we, you know, I know you love major league baseball, but we are getting NSF sports certified and we have some connections and we're going to try to get in with um, some major league baseball teams and different clubs like that. So we're hoping to set ourselves apart that way. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah. I mean, every supplement company that I had seen up to this point was, as you mentioned, really focused on the bodybuilding fitness sector. But, you know, going to your, to your website, it's it's all athlete focused. And I think that's really smart because the sports market is massive. Yeah. And you compare that even to the fitness industry. There's a huge opportunity there. And the fact that you're able to, you know, provide supplements to an entire university is massive. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. To, I'm excited that I we kind of got in on the ground floor, you could say, on yeah. the beginning stages. And really excited to see what the next steps are for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We our our wholesale program is doing really, really well because of that. I think people like the fact that we're performance based. Uh, we're not about look, it's all about performance and that's how we create our products. Um, we have a great contract with bodybuilding.com, which is a huge supplier of supplements. It's not easy to get on their website. You have to have quality stuff and we're super blessed to have um, partners like bodybuilding.com and people like that that are really repping and pushing our products. We better get black label in the Mariners dugout. Oh, I know. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I've gotten connected within. It, it's like, so I'm one of the only new media people that are there. Um, there's myself and one, one other podcast or YouTube channel that are credentialed with the Mariners. And so it's like old media and the new media. And so it's like, we're, I'm just doing my own thing up there. I'm kind of sticking to myself. Like, you know, I, I talk with some of the reporters, but it's very much like I'm in my own lane type thing. And so at some point I can go for the asks is what I'm getting at. And so to be able to start to, to have these connections that I'm building to be able to, you know, turn them into something at some point would be. No, I, I, I watch all your stuff. Your podcast with Jamie Moyer was fantastic. Uh, very, very awesome. What an opportunity That's, and honor. And you're, I mean, yeah. you're, you're dealing with some of the biggest names in baseball and the Mariners are killing it this year. So kudos to you. Yeah. I mean, that was like a pinch me moment. Um, <laughs> it's like last year, it was pretty eye opening and you, you view these guys in a certain light, but then you realize pretty quickly that they're human and it's just having that conversation. So the quicker that you realize that, the, the more opportunities you're going to be able to have because if they, feel like it, they had a great conversation. It's a normal interaction. Then, you know, that's what you're looking for. So yeah, just taking it a day at a time and seeing what doors open and just, yeah, I, you know, working on videos as often as I can and trying to get up there to Seattle. Cause I live like two and a half hours South of there. So whenever I can oh. get up there, my in-laws live in Everett. So it's like a 30 minute drive to Seattle from their place. So I'll, I'll crash up at their place on the weekends that, I'm doing that stuff. So, well, I, I, I assume based on what I see that players and the organization just likes what you do. Cause it's different. It's fresh. It's young. Um, it's just refreshing. So it's, it's super fun to watch. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. D definitely. Their goal is to, to get young with viewership 
because you know cable, cable television and, and the mainstream way of doing things is clearly not going to be the long-term thing you look at the root sports deal yep. what's going on there everything's moving towards streaming platforms and towards independent media and that's where i'm yeah trying to create the lane and if I could turn this into like a Barstool Sports, John Boy Media type thing, that's ultimately the goal. And I feel like there's a ton of East Coast bias in sports. So to Absolutely. have a have a independent media company or companies that are on the West Coast that have a little bias on this side can can, you know, really highlight what's going on over here, I think is pretty cool. Yeah. No, that's, that's ultimately the goal. You know, as soon as I um got your guys' information and did some research and watched you, I'm like, these guys are going to blow up. They're going to be fantastic. That's why I'm excited to partner with you. Yeah. And I love the, that I got connected with Will because uh, he was a lineman in college at, at uh, Central. And yeah. he's a regular on 1080 Sports, the fan in Portland here, a radio talk show. And the first time we met, it's like, as much as I know about baseball and as, you know, as, as much of a nerd as I am in stats with baseball, he's the exact same for football. So it's like, ask him about anything football related and he'll give you a 10 minute answer with every little detail. And it's like, right. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need you on my team. <laughs> so oh, it's a great combo. Well, uh, Troy. Yeah. I really appreciate your time. Really appreciate the partnership that we have going here. And if you're watching this, make sure to check out black label supplements code couch GM for 15% off. And, uh, yeah, let's keep growing the brand. Absolutely. Out to center. This is great. It's way back. It is gone.